Waheshimiwa viongozi wenzangu ndugu wa Islamu asalamu alaikum Kwanza jioni la jioni ya leo nataka nimshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia hii nafasi ya kuungana pamoja na nyinyi katika siku hii ya kwanza kwa siku kumi ya mwisho katika mwezi huu mtukufu wa Ramadhan. Asanteni sana kwa mzee Ahmed na Isli District Business Community. Asanteni sana kwa kutukaribisha, asante sana kwa kupanga ili tuweze kupata nafasi hii tuungane pamoja na nyinyi hasa katika nafasi ya maombi wengine wetu tumefika mahali tumefika kwa sababu ya maombi na tunajua umuhimu na maana ya maombi so kila tukipata nafasi ya maombi hiyo ni nafasi ya muhimu sana um, najua ya kwamba nimeulizwa mbona leo hatujafanya hii sherehe kule mahali inafanyika kawaida lakini nimeeleza hawa ndugu zangu ya kwamba ni vizuri kwamba Isli Business Community wamepanga ili tuanze na huku ndio tukipata hiyo nafasi ingine pengine wiki ijayo nitawakaribisha kwa sababu <laughs> dini ni jambo la muhimu sana kwa taifa letu la Kenya na hasa kwangu niliwaeleza <clears throat> ya kwamba askofu wangu wa kanisa ambaye mimi naenda alinitia moyo sana akaniambia mimi nataka wewe ukue kama waislamu vile wanamheshimu Mungu and we use your commitment to faith even those of us who are Christians we use your commitment to faith as an inspiration for us to trust God the way you do and i want to encourage you as the muslim community to do what you're doing because the god you serve is the god we all serve na ni mungu mmoja Um, nataka pia nichukue nafasi hii kwa niaba yangu na timu yetu hii niwashukuru sana ndugu wa Islamu um, kutoka sehemu mbalimbali mbali kwa kura zenu nataka niwashukuru sana asanteni kwa imani yenu kwetu kutupatia nafasi hii ya uongozi katika taifa letu la Kenya Tunawashukuru sana tunawaenzi kwa kura zenu na mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba serikali ya Kenya ni serikali yenu na tutaungana pamoja na nyinyi katika kuendesha hii serikali na kufanya kazi pamoja kwa manufaa ya wakenya wote wa kutoka dini zote we are going to work together hata <clears throat> um, mbali na dini tulizo nazo binadamu bila dini hana tofauti na mnyama na mimi ninaamini ya kwamba when i see what you do when i see you fast 
That is what we do also as Christians. We fast because it is the same God that we believe in. And we, we, we must continue to trust God even for our nation. Kama taifa letu la Kenya. Mimi najua ya kwamba wengi wenu ni watu ambao mnamcha mungu. Na sote tunataka taifa letu la Kenya. Liwe ni nchi ambayo inamcha mungu. Na katika kule kumcha mungu niliwaeleza. Tulikuwa na wakati mgumu sana wakati wa uchaguzi uliopita. Kwa sababu mambo yalikuwa mengi. Mimi mwenyewe nilipoteza marafiki wangu wengi. Kwa sababu ya siyasa hii. Ambaye ilikuwa wakati huo. Ya vitisho na hii na ile. Lakini. There is something God taught us in this election. Na mungu alitufundisha. Mbali na uwezo. Mbali na mamlaka ya binadamu kuna mungu mwenye anamua. Na niliwaeleza wakati mmoja ya kwamba binadamu anatoshana na heshima. Ikizidi hapo kuabudu ni mungu peke yake. Nini muna nielewa? Nini musiwai muka mkosea mungu? Muka abudu binadamu kwa sababu hako na mamlaka ama hako na uwezo ama hako na pesa. Yes. We can kama binadamu hawezi kutosheka na heshima Anaanza kutuuliza tumuabudu. Iyo tukatai. It doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter what power they wield. It doesn't matter how much well they control. A human being. We are all equal. In the eyes of God. In the eyes of the constitution. And I want to tell you my brothers and sisters. As I told you then. And I am sure today we are all witnesses that it is not power, it is not money, it is not influence. It is God who decides the destiny of a people or a nation. Na mimi nataka ni washukuru sana. Eh, kwa vile tuliungana tumeshirikiana na tutapeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele pamoja Nili eh, ngojea na ngojea nasikia nimeambiwa na marafiki zangu wa Islamu kuna Laila Dur Laila Tul Gad hiyo ndio mimi nangojea tarehe 20 na kitu hapo ndio <laughs> nitawalika kwa sababu ile changamoto tuko nayo Kenya inahitaji maombi ya hiyo ya karibu karibu ndio ifike si ndio so uh, tunapangana pole pole na mimi ninaamini ya kwamba tutafika hapo nataka pia niwahakikishie ya kwamba i know the um islib district business community are very committed business people they are the engine of the economy of our city and you pay your taxes and you pay your service charge and you pay whatever it is and you support millions you support jobs you support our economy I want to thank you in a very special way and to assure you of our support in making sure that you continue to play the role that you are playing 
in driving the wheels of our economy in this city. The two things that I have agreed with Governor Sakaja for the city of Nairobi is that we are going to sort out the garbage. Taka taka katika hii mchi wa Nairobi tutaipiga marufuku na I am confident there is enough uh, progress that is being made so that we can have a waste to energy program that will clean the city of Nairobi and Isli is one of our target areas. Jambo la pili vile vile tumekubaliana katika mji wetu wa Nairobi ndani ya hiyo maneno ni mambo ya Nairobi Rivers Commission. We also we cannot continue to live in a city where the rivers are full of sewage and shit and shit. We have to we have to remove it. And again under the office of the deputy president that program is on course so that we can live in a decent dignified healthy city na tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi i hope the isli business community will play a role in uh, the programs we have uh, for this city and ensure that we take uh, the city and make it a habitable capital city of Kenya and a place where we all live. Vile vile, I want to give you my assurance. I know there are some roads that stalled in, uh, uh, but I am happy that uh, we have now started the road from uh, Isiolo Kulamawe, from Kulamawe to Modogashe. I want to give you my assurance that that road will be built shortly in another two three months we will again commission the road from Elwak to Ramo another 140 kilometers <laughs> because it is our intention to make sure that we develop our country equally and in all parts and we enforce equity in the development of uh, our, our country. Let me also uh, commit to you as uh, uh, people who believe in God like us that work for commission which we pass the law. I have instructed the Attorney General to make sure that the commissioners are uh, elected so that I can appoint the chairman and then we give every Muslim and every person of goodwill the opportunity to make their contribution so that we can continue to build facilities that support the less fortunate in our society. Na nitauliza viongozi wa Kiislamu na ni wengi watusaidie kuharakisha eh, hiyo jambo kwa sababu hiyo Wakf Commission tulipitisha sheria awali lakini hatujakamilisha so that we can have eh, a place where faithfuls and friends and men and women of goodwill can support activities that target the less fortunate in our society. Um, kuna watu wengi bado wanatumia excuses kwamba oh you know we can't contribute because there is atuna uh, mahali ya contribute so I think we will close that gap when we have the commission in place. Nataka <coughs> vile vile uh, ni waeleze ya kwamba vile uh, mheshimiwa duale amesema tuko na um, embassy kule Saudia ambayo iko Riyadh mumesema ya kwamba mungependa tuwe na consulate pale Jida 
duale vile unajua kwa biblia inasemekana saa zingine mnaomba lakini amupati kwa sababu amujui kuomba sasa huyu duale amesema tunataka hii nini na ufanya haraka sasa nasema amenipatia ultimatum ya miezi tatu na sasa nimepatiwa ultimatum na mwingine juzi na hiyo ultimatum ya huyo mwingine nilikataa sasa sijui hii aduale nikataa tena <laughs> lakini kwa sababu ni mambo ya dini eh kwa sababu ni mambo ya dini na tunaheshimu Mungu na ile inatoka kwa Mungu ni amri na lazima tufuate so tutatengeneza consulate kule chida bile bile mmeuliza eh bwana deputy president nataka sasa kwa sababu wewe ndio mwenyekiti wa kamati yetu ya ya cabinet panga hiyo maneno ulete kwa cabinet tupitishe ni tufanye hiyo kazi hawa wangwana wametuuliza <laughs> lakini siku hiyo ingine na nyinyi muombe polepole please <laughs> Sindio. So um, mimi sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo. Mimi nimefurahi sana kwa kati yenu. Nataka tu niwahakikishie ya kwamba tutafanya kazi pamoja na nyinyi. Msikue na wasiwasi yale yaliyopita waswahili wanasema yaliyopita si ndwele. Tugange yaliyomo na yale yanayokuja kule mbele tutashirikiana pamoja najua vile vile ya kwamba unajua katika hii siasa kuna vile Mungu naye anapanga sababu sisi ni binadamu si ndio naye kuna vile eh, kuna vile Mungu amepanga na mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba tutafanya kazi pamoja tutaunganisha taifa letu la Kenya tutapanga mambo ya uchumi vizuri na tutahakikisha kwamba Kenya inasonga mbele. That one is my commitment to you. Um, poleni mzee chairman wa Isli Business uh, uh, District uh, Gisi District Business Community. Poleni ule rafiki yangu nasikia alikuja huko kwenu na akaandamana na watu ambao walikuja kuibia nyinyi masimu wakaharibu mali yenu akafanya sijui mambo gani so mimi nataka niwahakikishie eh, Mungu ametusaidia hiyo maneno sasa tumekomesha tumesema mambo yote tupeleke wapi kule bunge watu waende wazungumuze huko na tukubaliane tuweze kupeleka mambo yetu mbele tuwache fujo tuwache eh, vita tuendelee kama watu wa Kenya na mimi nakubaliana na nyinyi in an environment of violence and chaos business gets affected development gets undermined and progress is put in jeopardy so we must all work together towards a peaceful nation working together in the right direction in unity of purpose as a as a nation so asanteni sana mujue Ninawapenda sana tunawapenda kabisa na tutafanya kazi pamoja thank you very much and god bless you